Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like this content. Check out the top right eye as well for a bunch of new links, nice links. So here in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the enemies can't be spawned indefinitely. Okay, so I'll close all but this and we're going to start from the beginning. We have a few things we got to do. And we got to recap a little bit how everything works. But the essence of it is that an enemy should remember its tile that it spawned from. So it's a pretty easy fix, actually. We'll start there. We'll open up enemy.h and we'll see what we have. So when you open up enemy.h, you'll see that we commented out an enemy spawner here. I'm going to remove that. You'll see enemy spawner tile is included here. I haven't been using these properly forward declarations, so I'm going to remove that. You don't need to do that like this. Only if you don't include, because otherwise it's like a double work. So I've been dumb. Um, thanks to the users who told me I was dumb. I won't do that again. Uh, enemy spawner tile. You'll just say enemy spawner tile here. Remember, this is enemy.h. So we're keeping track of the tile that spawned this specific enemy. But we're going to have to do some tedious changes here. For example, in the enemy constructor we're gonna have to add this and say enemy spawner tile we'll do that so you have your enemy spawner tile in here next step is gonna be going into the CPP what you can do is just do peak definition and just change it right or peak I don't know why that what, what the hell okay you know what no, that's not what I want to do. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's go to the CPP file. Just make it easy for ourselves. Put that in there. Okay, just put that in there and you're good. You're very good. Now, it's a reference, remember. So, we don't want a pointer because we want to force it to have this. So, if you don't, you can't give a null pointer into a reference. So, But what you have to do then is use the initializer list. I'm going to say uh, enemy spawner tile is, of course, our enemy spawner tile. Good as that, and now that's set. But of course, we have to change that in rat h and cpp. So remember, when you're creating your enemy, you're using that constructor, and that's going to be called in the rat.cpp here. And you just want to send that in right there, enemy spawner tile, and also in here, in the actual constructor. Okay? And you should send that in there. Of course, it's red because we haven't added it here yet. Just add it right here for ourselves. And then you have your enemy spawner tile for enemy and rat. You have to do that for every enemy class that you create. Once you're done with that, guys, go to your enemy system H and CPP. Open up these beautiful baddies. Put your game state here. Let's just see what's happening. So the idea I have is whenever I create an enemy up there, it's going to increase the amount of enemy spawn for that tile. And when I decrease, that number is going to decrease. So whenever I kill an enemy, it's going to decrease. There's a few ways we can do this. Uh, let's start off with the increase part. Let's open up our enemy spawner tile. And we need to add something here. Now we have enemy amount. I'm going to call that enemy amount. Uh, you know what? Let's keep that enemy amount. It's too many places we've got to change that. But we'll do a int enemies spawned enemies counter maybe I don't know whatever you like there I'll call it enemies counter that's fine go to your CPP file for this and say this enemies counter equals zero we start at zero because that's how it is good I want to create a few of these functions accessors first of all const int get enemy counter or should we call it enemy counter? Enemy counter, enemy counter to keep that kind of consistent here. Enemy counter, enemy counter. Um, where did it go? Okay, get enemy counter. Const like this, enemy counter. Define this, of course. And in the peak here, we're just going to return turn this enemy counter and create two functions down here it doesn't have to be modifiers it can be just functions here 
can spawn is fine. Now we're going to do a const bool or const uh, or just make it a void actually. Void increase enemy counter. Don't put a const afterwards because we're going to be changing stuff and duplicate this line, control D and say decrease. Just say decrease. Good. First of all, set this one. If this enemy counter, so we're going to do a little quick check here. Enemy counter is greater or equal to this enemy amount or greater than, not equal to, sorry, than this enemy this enemy counter equals to this enemy amount else this enemy me sorry about this count I'm fat finger like crazy enemy counter don't forget to add the plus plus here and copy this whole thing okay copy it define the next one paste that in there and just do a minus minus here and don't forget to change this if enemy counter is less than zero okay this enemy counter is zero I want to make sure it doesn't go below zero or the max amount basically so there once you have that ready you should be good to go now we have our increase decrease now we can increase and decrease the number of stuff in this enemy spawner tile remember that our enemy system in the create enemy doesn't actually take a tile we don't really need that anymore because when we create an enemy here uh da, 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 let's go to our tile map open up your tile map dot cpp and go down to where you're creating enemies let's find that create enemy oh i was right there okay fine bro and when we're creating the enemy here in the enemy system that enemy will be created and inside i'll increase the amount for this enemy spawner okay so go to enemy system, create enemy, go to the enemy system CPP, create enemy. Here we go. Okay, here we go. But we, when we're creating it, I actually need to give it that enemy spawner to link it. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go back. Let's go to tile map again. Go to tile map and send in ES here. It will be red for now, but just send an ES here and then go to, you can remove this set spawn actually. Let's see. No, keep that. Keep that. You know what? Keep that. Go to your enemy system after doing that. And here we're going to do a enemy spawner tile reference spawner tile. Just like we did in enemy. Copy this line. Go to your H file for this. Paste that right there. And then we'll have the enemy spawner tile. We'll send that in with the rat enemy Spawner enemy spawner tile. Why are you not showing, bro? What is that? Okay, whatever, whatever. So it's sending that in. You see that? It's sending that in, pushing it back. And we're creating the enemy here. Also, we need to do enemy spawner tile dot dot increase enemy counter. So we're increasing the amount of enemies we just spawned. And it's creating it right here right good very good um the stop itself will be in here so I'll, I'll i'll make sure we we check that anyway once this is done you need to make a function so i'm copying this i'm going back to enemy system.h sorry for jumping around a lot but just i'm going back to h file the h file check this line create enemy under here i'm just going to do void remove enemy just to contain a bunch of stuff, okay? And then const int index. Boom, very simple, very simple, nothing special. Define this and paste that in there and say decrease. All right? And instead of enemy spawner tile, let's go to the actual H file. Let's actually go here and continue here. Okay, so what this is gonna do is this is gonna take this active enemies because we have a reference to active enemies in here in our enemy system so we can directly access it at position index decrease enemy counter okay very good very simple good 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 that's actually a pointer 
good good and this is probably a enemy so what we need to do is get yeah sorry about this sorry about this guys let's go so many steps right so many steps we have a we have no accessor for the enemy tile so we need to actually get that enemy tile go to your enemy.h file and create a not a const not a const enemy spawner tile reference get enemy spawner tile and define this sorry guys i didn't can't believe i forgot this this is a very important part return this enemy spawner tile in the cpp file for enemy of course that's the only place you need to define it you don't need to make it virtual since it will be inherited into rad and everything so just keep it here make sure it's defined good go to your cpp file for enemy system back there check that we can now get get enemy spawner tile dot now dot decrease enemy counter sorry about that so we're decreasing its enemy counter and that's what we want to do but we need to do some more go to your game state wherever you are deleting your enemy here copy all of that control x the whole thing and put it into this enemy system function that we created right there so we're deleting it we're erasing it and we're minimizing this but before you do the delete you want to do this make sure you do this double triple check that you're doing the this thing decreasing it before the delete because you're actually removing it here so good now you're deleting your enemy but you have to also call this remove enemy oh uh, this enemy spot enemy system remove enemy at index so you could do the index minus minus in here as well but i'm not going to do that i'm going to keep it like this so make sure you're removing the enemy good we're doing a minus we're increasing it when we're creating an enemy in the tile map okay we're sending an es here into the enemy system enemy spawner tile and it's a reference so what you need to do is you need to dereference that right there you need to have this as a pointer because you're dynamic casting it so make sure it's a pointer and it's dereferenced and go back to your enemy system now we're soon done guys soon done just bear with me bear with me um make sure it's being increased good we're increasing it now we need to create the actual lock for this okay the actual lock will be in the tile map if yes we haven't spawned anything then we'll spawn and yes okay get enemy counter like that okay is less than yes get enemy amount now we have to create this function as well but basically what it's doing is it's checking that as long as this is less than enemy amount and it's not been spawned we'll spawn it and this way is good we're writing this out anyway let's create that function for us just quickly get enemy counter const int get reference get enemy amount very simple function super simple super super simple return this enemy amount i don't know what kind of symbols this is what kind of arrow this is boy but we're good okay return enemy amount go back to your tile map finally you'll see that this is good very good um nice 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 good and just to just to double check just so you guys understand this can spawn is being used in this enemy spawner time itself so this is what we did in the last video i just had to recap that but anyways just checking the timer and it's if you can spawn it it's just gonna update it and and do all that stuff so that's good now we have a lock in here okay now we have a lock what we can do is we can say for example here std c out spawned just to check that this works anytime we're spawning something it's gonna say spawned so if we see that more than two times or one time we'll have a problem okay we have a big problem let's run this 
It runs without a crash. Let's see, okay, it spawned three enemies. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds have gone. Nothing happened. Let's kill this enemy. And it spawned again. Kill this enemy. Let's just see if it spawned again. One, two, three, four, five. Kill it. Okay, it spawned directly. So we have another issue where the timer needs to be reset every time we kill an enemy. Uh, to actually... Yeah, we need to do that. But we'll do that in the next video. It's fine for now. This is all you needed to know. This is a long video in itself. But thank you so much for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe. Check out the top right eye as well. And drop a comment as well if you want. Stay safe. See you in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.